Alrighty guys, so in order to get the Nourish Rune, you need to come here to Dust Swallow Marsh for the first thing at about 42-42, and you have to kill this Rotting Ancient. Now I have a hunter friend here, Punter, to help me, and I invited this druid that was passing by as well. But you just need to kill a level 40 uh, Rotting Ancient, and then you get the Rotting Seed, which begins a quest. And then after that, you are going to go to Moonglade, but definitely try to invite other druids or players in the area to help you out if you are level below, probably level 37, I'd say. I'm level 34. Um, I think the minimum for it is level 30, but you definitely need to be able to kill level 40 mod. But we're going to now head to Moonglade, and I'll see you when we get there. Voop! Alrighty guys, now this is what makes the Nourish quest so difficult, and that is because after you come to Moonglade and you're right here, you have one hour to go to four different locations, and you cannot use teleports or anything like that, and then you, ha you have to get the waters from the lake, and then you have to um, fly around the world for an hour. Uh, two things to note. One, the quest is bugged right now. And anytime you get the honor list target debuff, it causes you to fail the quest. What causes this is teleporting normally and flying a flight path into contested territory. So in order to do this, you not only have to meet all those requirements, but you cannot land your flyer in contested territory so you need to make sure that you have practically all the flight paths and you fly to some strategically placed areas from the moment i accept this i'm going to go to lake Alune, get the water then i'm going to walk up here for the druid only flight path to thunder bluff i'm going to then fly to ratchet take the boat from ratchet to stranglethorn vale i am going to get water the sapling here then I'm going to go to the next one, which is Swamp of Sorrows. So we have to manually run all the way to Swamp of Sorrows. Then I'm going to take the Swamp of Sorrows flight path to Silver Pine Forest. From Silver Pine Forest, I'm going to swim across the lake to Altric Mountains. And we are going to go to the seedling, which is right here by Stranabrad. And then we are going to go down to Arathi Highlands to get the final one by this lake. At any point in this journey, you fail the quest if you die. So I'm on a PvP server, so if any alliance kills me, I will have to restart. And I will uh, have to, uh, I'll fail it if I take a teleport of any kind. So that is how you're going to be getting the nurture. I will show you every step of the way, but I want to tell you the path, how we're going to do it, be as clear as possible. That way you guys understand because you are on a one hour time limit and without a mount, this can be pretty close. Um, the moment you complete the fourth one, you can teleport right back to Moonglade. So we're going to start the quest now and I will see you guys when we get to the first thing. So right here and bam we are starting that quest so we get the water and now we have one hour to do it you can track it right here uh actually you can't track it so you just look at your clock when you start it so it's 8 37 a.m and we are going to go and do that so i will see you guys at the first step Voop. Alrighty guys, a quick little update here is if you type slash PvP or right click on your nameplate and enable PvP, you're actually able to fly anywhere, which makes this significantly easier. Still a bit of a challenge going to Swamp of Sorrows as a uh, horde just because where you have to go. Um, but maybe you can get lucky, but the flight path definitely helps out a ton if you were able to fly there So we are going to test this theory really quick to see if we have PvP on if it causes us to fail So we'll know once we get to Shanglethorn Vale and get the first one and then try to fly it to Grom Gaul But anyway guys, I will see you then Voop. Alrighty guys, so the first one is right over here on top of this mountain next to these gorillas You got to be careful because they are level 40 So it can be a little dangerous coming over here, but luckily someone has recently farmed these gorillas But you are going to head right into the Mistvale Valley right behind this tree 
in order to get your ancient sapling as you can see it is right here so we should just be able to walk up and use the water on it and there we go that is step one of it we're at coordinates about uh 3265 next step is i'm going to have to run all the way up stv along the road go to um swamp of sorrows here and get the next one so wish me luck hopefully i don't get pvp'd and i would highly recommend that you do not come here during the blood moon event because it can be very very scary but anyway guys i will see you at the next one Alrighty guys, so we have made it into the Swamp of Sorrows. We are going into the Misty Valley right over here to get it. There are a lot of people farming Hearts of the Wild, so this could be a little uh, crazy, but luckily it's Horde players farming them instead of Alliance players. Um, this is like my fourth attempt because... Stranglethorn Vale was very terrible to make it through and unfortunately maintenance is going to happen in the middle of me doing this so Maybe just maybe we can get a little bit lucky and maintenance doesn't ruin the quest But we're halfway done and the enabled PvP Actually does work. So that's huge to see. Oh, there's an alliance So we got a stealth upon seeing them Maybe we can make it to Stonerd, but just be very careful, especially if you're a lower level, guys, on a PvP server. This is insanely challenging. But anyway, guys, I'll see you at the next one. Alrighty, guys, another quick little note here while you're doing the most wonderful rune they've ever added in this game, Nourish. If they do random server maintenance... The item and the buff will disappear from your bag and your toolbar, but you will not fail the quest. But however, there's no way to get the item again. Um, it makes it impossible to complete it. So essentially, if server maintenance happens, it is a hard reset for you guys. So you essentially have to be online for one hour straight and do this rune perfectly. Otherwise, you will not be able to get it. Just wanted to give you guys that quick update. I love this rune. It is the best ever. Alrighty guys, so the third one is right here at about 4771. You just walk up to the ancient sapling, use your thing, and then you can uh, run back his horde. And because of that PvP enable thing, I'm just going to run back to Hammerfall, and I am going to fly to Tarn Mill, and then go to the final one in Stronbrad. I have 17 minutes to get there, so hopefully we can make it in time. But this has been such a long experience, that's for sure. But anyway, I'll see you at the last one. Alrighty, guys. As Horde, I found a nice easy path just up from Torn Mill into the AV camp. And then you can come right up here to the road. Since I have uh, 12 minutes left, I'm just going to come in here, stealth, scout the area. Because there can be some alliance here trying to get their rune and stuff. As you see, level 35 paladin. The last thing I'd want to do is fail it right here. You can see the sapling is right there. There's an alliance on their mount coming right behind me. But it's just slow and steady and patience. I know you are timed. But once you complete the fourth one, you are done. You can then die. You do not have to make it back to Moonglade because the quest is complete so we have it there we can now teleport to Moonglade and turn it in for the nourish rune now this rune I this was like my seventh or eighth attempt doing it spent so many hours trying to do this um, the enable PvP effect helped a ton with this as well as the ability to um, have all the flight paths unlocked you can get it pretty easily with that no mount needed just because you're a druid with travel form and cat form dash but anytime you're like you see an alliance you're in danger utilize stealth and cat form as well as utilize the ability to um use like dash or you can also layer layer is huge as well and do your best not to go to STV during the Blood Moon event and make sure you're opted out if you so happen to come there. Anytime around that, it can be very, very uh, devastating. 
But anyway, we finished this rune. I hate this rune. I think it is a terrible game design. Probably the worst one that Blizzard has ever done. I don't even... Like, I just, this, this rune literally makes me think that they don't even play test their stuff sometimes. That's how much I despise it. But anyway, guys, that is it for the rune of nourishing, which gives the nourish up ability and until thank you for watching and until next time i'll see you later have a great day Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video thank you so so much for watching it truly means a lot to me if you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video please 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 share it with them it helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what i love every single day and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that i can so finally thank you so much and i hope you have a fantastic day goodbye